Today on Internet Marketing Pro, we're going to cover 100 inbound marketing content ideas. Are you legally minimizing your future tax burden and staying compliant in today's complex tax code? If not, our sponsor, Michelu Consulting, has over 30 years of experience providing top quality professional services in accounting and tax preparation for a wide variety of clients like you. Whether you need tax return filing, planning, bookkeeping, financial statements, full service payroll, or a corporate or individual tax return, I personally use and highly recommend the services of Jeffrey Ressler CPA, whose phone number is 561 237 5264. That is 561 237 5264. Thank you very much. And remember, you can always look to the audio video description of this post for names, phone numbers, and links and references made during this program. Or you can get them by visiting cdecker.com, chaddecker.com, or ezinegenerator.com anytime as well. Broadcasting from the Great North Woods Lake region of Southern Maine. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. I'm your host, Chad Decker, and welcome to our Internet Marketing Pro and EZGenerator.com podcast show. Our shows will cover how to grow your business as well as topics on tips, tricks, and techniques, digital lifestyles, the future of finance, entrepreneurism, and preeminent professional Internet marketers. Thank you for tuning into our show as we begin this adventure together exploring many great things to come. Now, let's cover a few quick announcements before we get started. Like I always begin my shows, I really like to show my personal appreciation for all the feedback that we've been getting from you. What a difference it makes in motivating me to put these shows out and continually think of the next subject matter that we can explore together. We are always excited about helping us get more uh, subscribers and by subscribing yourself on YouTube, iTunes, Stitcher, Smart Radio, and many other syndicates. If you like our show and find it resourceful, please do your social network a favor and share, like, post, leave a comment, and subscribe to our show. Be sure to visit ezinegenerator.com and become a free member of our highly resourceful total online marketing presence community. You will gain instant exclusive access and insight to over thousands of over-the-shoulder training videos, articles, RSS feeds, to over 500 resource websites relating to topics like analytics, content, email marketing, mobile marketing, search engine optimization and management, social network marketing and management, traffic, articles, white papers, <laughs> podcast interviews of preeminent leaders, current events, and much, much more. Whew, that's a lot. But finally, be sure to review our past archive shows on iTunes, Stitcher Smart Radio, YouTube, and Zoom because we have plenty of topics and information that are totally free to you and to others and for you to share for all those who are aggregating content out there on the Internet and on your social networks. Now, let's get down to business. Hello and welcome back. We are in the fourth installment of a five-part series on 100 inbound marketing content ideas. And uh, today we're going to cover um, sharing your content, which is a general idea around the content ideas, how to incorporate other platforms as far as um, 100 ideas for content, and uh, create original tweets. And uh, I guess you could call it Follow Friday, uh, which is all about uh, posting on the probably the weekends and on Friday afternoons. So uh, let's go ahead and recap uh, content creation being the core of every inbound marketer's job. You know, from tweets to blog posts to Facebook wall posts, there is a lot of copy, messaging, and engagement to post out to your audience. This is why the inbound marketer's role is one that requires so much creativity. Content has to be timely, accurate, relevant, thoughtful, unpredictable, informative, and even funny. So, you know, the same old content, day in and day out, can't get stale. Otherwise, you'll lose your community engagement, and that's what you're after in the first place. So, get fresh. You know, the question is, where do you come up with fresh ways to accomplish this seven days a week? And what do you do when you are just jump-starting for the first time a social presence on Twitter or Facebook or Pinterest? And what should your company be blogging about? Oh my gosh, all the stress, you know, save me. So, you know, what I hope to accomplish by this five-part series is giving you ideas and inspiration, being your muse, and being able to help you find ideas 
to create some awesome kick-ass content. And once you go through these five shows and use them as a reference, you might want to write down some of your favorites. And, uh, they'll always refer to that list. You know, Put it maybe by your desk or your computer or whatever it is, wherever you work and you come up with content ideas. Keep it right there in front of you, and that way you've always got that inspiration of how you think your community will respond the best and just use it as like sort of like a, a what do you call it, the McDonald's, a franchise factor. And so, uh, you know, like I said, this list of ideas is meant to inspire the content that you create for your community, and it's broad and generic and focused, but it's not meant to focus too strictly on technology that helps you carry it out as much as the ideas and the offering something for everyone. Uh, but, you know, what I hoped is through this brainstorming session that will help you find some fresh ideas of your own. And today we're going to cover 20 more content ideas. And uh, we're going to start off uh, where we left off last week. And that uh, begins with, hmm, right here. Okay, here we go. We are going to do 61. If your blog post is a list of tips, offer one tip with a link to the post as a teaser. Uh, number 62. If you feature tools or other companies in your blog posts, CC them on the tweets and let them know so they retweet your content. Number 63. If you're creating evergreen content on your blog, don't be afraid to schedule tweets of old blog posts. A few months later, they are still valuable to your audience and they may have missed it the first time. I do a whole podcast show on how to get the most from your blog posts. It's one of my top shows as far as downloads are concerned and listens. Go back in the archives and check that out, that whole whole story of how I talk about how to get the most out of your blog posts. I mean, you're breaking your back to try to come up with something original and unique, but believe it or not, you know, we all watch reruns of television and sometimes we forget. Sometimes people need to either be reinforced of the information and be reminded because we all tend to forget. And at the same time, there's people who have come along and haven't been exposed to it yet. So there's no reason to break your back. Reruns definitely work. So use content, um, create a schedule and, uh, you can probably get away with using that article or that type of content over and over and over again. Okay, now moving into a, another type of content that we've been going through. You know, yeah, 100 ways, but there's a certain kind of uh, title to it. This is incorporating other platforms in regards to creating content. Number 64, let your Twitter followers know about a great contest or discussion happening on your Facebook page or LinkedIn group and invite them to be a part of it. Don't beg for likes and members, though. It's annoying. Number 65. Share your email newsletter on Twitter. Invite people to sign up for your newsletter by sharing a link to the landing page where they can sign up. Number 66. Do a TWT poll. Ask your followers a question and use the results for blog content. Number 67. Participate in relevant Twitter chats related to your community. Number 68. Don't cross post your content to Facebook or LinkedIn. They are different platforms, so treat them individually. Number 69. If you're working on a blog post, ask your community members for help. Reach out to them and ask them for their tips. It shows that there's a person behind the Twitter account. And, okay, we're going to talk about number 70 here in just a moment. But like I said, every bit of these numbered uh, ideas revolves around a subject matter. So this one is how to create original tweets. So the next few is going to refer to that type of content. So number 70 is offer a daily tip just for your Twitter followers. Number 71, tell a joke or a riddle. Number 72, use pictures, show what you're working on, offer a behind-the-scenes looks, take a picture at the conference or event. And number 73, ask your followers for a question or for the opinion of a relevant topic. Collect the tweets with Storify and use them as a blog post. 
And the next subject matter as far as each one of these content ideas is it's called Follow Friday. So number 74 is use hashtag Follow Friday to shine the light on your most engaged community members. Number 75, do a special edition hashtag Follow Friday and give it a theme. Group special community members together for a specific reason, trait, or contribution to the community. Kind of like a, an incentive for people to engage into your tweeting action. So, uh, you know, it, nobody wants to be self-promoting themselves, but when you self-promote someone else, it's kind of like a, a recommendation. And uh, people really appreciate that, and they'll be inspired if you change that up uh, from week to week. And uh, obviously, if you do that long enough, uh, you'll find a lot of people really beginning to engage and be influential within your community. So moving on, here's some Facebook content ideas. And under the Facebook content, content ideas, we're going to talk about posting statuses on walls. Many people need really some serious help with doing this from things that I read day in and day out. Like I said, I'm not really interested that you're tying your shoe. But uh, 76 is don't automate Twitter updates to your Facebook page. They are different platforms, so treat them differently. We already covered this earlier, but I need to rephrase it again the other way around. So you don't post from Facebook to Twitter, and you don't post from Twitter to Facebook. They are two separate. Number 77, tag other companies and people in your statuses for increased engagement and cross-promotion. Number 78, reply to users' comments and likes on your statuses. Number 79, have a guest host. Have a celebrity, influencer, or company executive take over your Facebook page for an hour or a day to interact directly with community members and answer their questions. Number 80, ask for your community's opinion. Talk about a question that was asked somewhere else, like a blog or a Twitter post, and pose that to your Facebook audience. So it kind of gives you ideas and stirring up the audience and getting them to engage in something. Um, so that, that works really well. So that's about 20 more new content ideas that we talked about this week. And we'll pick up on the last 20 next week. Um, and we'll, we'll finish the Facebook content ideas as far as posting statuses on walls. We will talk about photos. And uh, we will talk about analytics. And then we have a little bit, I have a little commentary to say after that. And we'll finish up this five part series. So I really appreciate you sharing this content with your social network and subscribing to the show yourself. So have a great week now. Bye bye.